It all began a month ago. It was March the 3rd. It wasn't the usual for us. We took the weekend off to have some time for each other. I'd been working hard on a story and had finished the report, and Simon had taken the weekend off from his shifts. We'd been to our favourite restaurant, and we're walking home. The day had been good, and we were ready to go home and relax. I don't think anyone would have expected what happened in the next few seconds. <laughs> What do you do when something like that happens to you? A freak accident, something completely unexpected. How do you react? Or even take it in? It just isn't fair on anybody. It shouldn't have happened. At least not for no reason. Was it an accident? I understand you had something to add to your report. I saw a man. And it's just playing on my mind. What if this wasn't an accident? Were you with someone to murder your partner? I don't know. I don't really have any reasons. I just know I saw a man. What did this man look like? I, d I don't know. It was, it was pretty dark and he was hooded. I didn't really see any distinctive features. We'll take a look at those tips. I think you better come have a look at this. The only people that seen was you and Simon. Where do you think you've seen him? He was, he was right there, I'm sure of it. I'm sorry, there's nothing to go on. You've just suffered a terrible loss. The mind can be tricked. I can't investigate the murder there. Yep, yeah. no, it's fine. I'll address some journalist trying to make a story of something. I saw him again during that month. The second time I saw him, his face was still hidden, but I could tell he was looking at me. Was he after me? Was he going to get me next? You could think I'm being paranoid, but I'd had enough of being chased by a shadow, of being haunted by this ghost. 